Hey everyone, in this one we are going to see how we can host Next.js application on AA panel. For this, you need three things ready. First thing first, you need an AA panel. If you don't have AA panel installed, you can follow my other tutorial which I will link and install the AA panel. The second thing we need is a Next.js project. If you don't have Next.js project, that's also okay. For this particular demonstration, I have created one uh, Next.js project on my GitHub. You can simply do GitHub uh, plug set. And you will find my account where you will find the next.js sample project if you go to the repositories here will be next.js sample project i will provide link in the description but in case i forgot you can uh, go here and get it okay so let's copy this particular uh, url and paste it here so it will be easy okay the third thing we need is domain name or subdomain name okay so for me i'm going to use my own domain which is one yt.in okay so without wasting time let's get started first thing you need to do is you need to go to this particular fluxet.com so let me just make my screen little bit smaller so that it will be uh, easy to view okay so first thing you need to do is uh, go to the this sample next js project then click on the code right here and download as a zip you can clone also git clone also but uh, we need to upload zip somewhere so just download the zip right here go to the aa panel click on the website so when we click on the website you will have two options first is php project another is node project so click on the node project because uh, the next js is a basically node project okay so once we click on the node project we should have option to add the node project but here we don't have the uh, node.js version installed so let me just clear quickly install node.js version let me confirm it and that should pull the node.js uh, on my a panel okay so let me just refresh the page and before adding the node project we need to click on the node version manager and you need to install node version uh, node.js version so my projects run on node 20.13.1 uh, or 20.12.2 so i'll just uh, install this particular version right here but in your case you need to check which project uh, which one node version you need to install on your uh, server so that your project can run okay so once this particular installation is complete uh, we can go ahead and we can start installing the uh, node project okay so hence this installation is going let's do one thing let's copy this url let this instruction keep going and click right here and enter this particular url right here so what we are going to do meantime this is getting installed we are going to upload our website files okay so click on the files option right here so once you click on the file option it should give you root uh, file directory uh, which is slash uh, was slash www in case of this particular um, a panel so here you need to right click uh, and create a new folder right here so i will just say next app okay N E X T app okay so this is uh, my okay so i forgot the app that that's okay uh, next pp is going to my project let's click on the folder and click on the upload and let's try to upload the zip file that we have downloaded okay so right now as you can see we have sampled this file let me click on the upload and that shouldn't take too much time because it's in the kb so once it is uploaded you can right click on it and say unzip right here okay so let's say unzip once it is unzipped you can delete the uh, right click on it uh, zip file and delete the zip file because we don't need anymore then we can click on the sample next js master then there is a sample directory and here are here is our next js project okay so right now i can use this directory structure so as you can see there is a no need of sample js uh, directory folder there is a no need of sample project folder okay but so if you want to keep it you can keep it and we can use it okay for simplicity you can just copy everything and move it to back but that's also okay if you keep the all of the directories okay so let's go back to the a panel and as you can see this particular version is installed great now we need to add a project node project so here when you click on the add node project we get this nice option where we now need to select the path so let's select the path so here while selecting path you need to select the path where exactly the app is so that's why i selected sample js then again sample and now here 
are my files okay so let's click on select and that should set the path name of the project is sample obviously then run opt command will be automatically uh, detected you need to set to the start okay because we are going to use uh, node.js project in the product production for product project uh, sorry port you can mention 3000 or 3001 uh, i prefer 3001 because i have something installed on 3000 uh, but if, uh, anyway you can enter anything then there is a user so right now it, by default it has www but if your website requires root privileges to run some kind of task on the server then in that case you can select the root okay for me i am going to keep it for node i have only one new version installed so that's why it is by default selected but in your case if you have multiple versions installed you will definitely see uh, some options there you should select the right version then remarks is sample now domain name okay so let's go to the our domain name so this is my dns for one yt dot in i am using cloudflare so here i need to add the nm record okay so right now as you can see i have nm record already for pointed to this particular ip which doesn't exist by the way i should delete it but anyway i will keep it uh, what we are going to do is we are going to host our website on subdomain not a domain but if you want to host on the domain then also process is same okay so let me show you how so let's copy the ip address from the top right here okay let's copy ip address from the top here go to the our dns so this is our cloud fair try to type next right here so it we it should be a small next next so this will create next.1yt.in the subdomain let me add the ip address right here and save it okay so i'm going to host on next.1yt.in that's why i added this record but in your case if you want to uh, host on main domain you can add record like this okay here you can mention at or 1yt.in and just save it okay and make sure that you are using your own domain name okay so right now we have records added so let me just uh, move this window ahead and go here and type here uh, next.1yt.in okay so that's my domain in your case it, it can be anything example.com text.com whatever it is okay uh, go ahead and let's confirm by the way if you want to add uh, more domains then you can also add it uh, sometimes what happens you want to host the exact same website on multiple domains in that case you can just uh, click enter and add one more domain here in the box right uh, let's click on the confirm and that should start installing our node packages because if you see in the project right here we don't have node modules folder okay so this process will start installing the node module folder it will install all node modules required it will configure everything for us and it will directly start uh, our website so that's the process to set up it says done that's really great and now as you can see our project status is stopped so i don't know why it is stopped so first thing first let's go ahead and let's uh, click on the ssl option right here we will check what you, what is stopping the project but first let's check on the ssl option uh, once you go on the ssl option uh, click on the let's encrypt which will give you free ssl you select the domain name and click on the apply and apply and open so that shouldn't take too much long it will get us uh, ssl certificate and ssl uh, private key or you can say ssl key that we just need to save and we will be ready to go okay so it says saving and we should have key and option ready force uh, https uh, option you need to enable right here so let me just open that and save it okay so right now we have ssl setup okay so if you do refresh right here you will see uh, your ssl option will turn into green great now we need to check why the status is stopped so right now as you can see our project is started right here okay so what i did is basically i went to the sample right here and i chose here dev next dev okay so this uh, was the issue so when i did this uh, it started the project but once mm -hmm. we complete the tutorial i will try to use another option also the start option also i want to check what is wrong with that okay so let's go here and let's uh, check our domain name open new tab and type uh, next dot one yt dot in so one yt dot in that's our domain name and as you can see we have next 
app ready so this is my nextjs website okay great so this is how you host nextjs website on a panel but let's go back once again and let's try to change this command because when we start it shows the error okay so let me just show you when i say start and uh, when i go back here it will say the error okay not saying the error so let me just refresh this page okay so might be you need to start dev first and then you need to start the uh, start search first okay so first you need to select the dev that should i think build uh, build the project and then you need to click on the start that will start the project okay so great uh, if you go here and uh, in the file manager and if you try to refresh this particular page uh, remember we are in the file uh, directory where our next app is as you can see dot next folder is there that means our next app is automatically built then there is a node modules folder uh, which is uh, uh, basically node module are installed and yeah that's uh, all actually so this is how you can host your next.js project on a panel if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment i will try my best to solve your problems right and until then thanks for watching see you in the next